Hey art friends, in this lesson we're going to draw Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. I hope you're excited, you're going to follow along with me, you've got a marker and some paper. We're going to first start by drawing Sally's head, and we're going to draw it in the middle of our paper, but towards the top, so that we have room for her body below. Now we're going to draw a circle for the general shape of her head. So we're going to start here, and we're going to draw the circle, it comes around. We can draw it really big, because we're drawing a cartoon version of her. There we go. Now we're gonna draw her eyes, and her eyes are huge. So we're gonna draw two big circles right next to each other. So there's one. And this one's a little smaller, but that's okay. We're practicing. Now remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like mine because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. And it's okay if two of your eyes are different sizes. <laughs> the second time you draw Sally, she'll turn out better than the first time. Now, let's draw her little pupils. She has teeny little eyes right in the middle of, <laughs> of those big circles. Now, let's draw three eyelashes on each eye. And then we can draw her hair. And I'm gonna draw a big curve over here that comes down to the side. And then we're gonna draw another one that comes down to the other side. Next, let's draw her nose. I'm just gonna draw a little U in between her eyes, and then we can draw her mouth. And we're gonna draw a big smile. Now right in the middle of her smile, she has her teeny little lips, so we're gonna draw an upside down W for the top part, and then we're gonna draw a U for the bottom. Now on the lines that are coming out to the side, she has little stitches. And then let's add stitches on the left side also. All right, it's starting to look like her, isn't it? Now we're gonna finish her hair a little bit later so that we can draw her body first. So let's draw two lines coming down from her neck or from her chin. We're gonna draw, we're gonna draw her kind of skinny because she's really tall and skinny. So draw two lines kind of close to each other and towards the bottom of our paper. Now, in between these lines, the bottom of her dress is torn, so we're gonna draw a zigzag line that connects the two lines. Now let's draw her legs sticking out the bottom of her dress. We're gonna draw two lines for the left leg and two lines for the right leg. And then at the very bottom, we're gonna connect these two with a sideways V for small little feet and also one on the other side. All right, we got our feet in there. Now let's draw our arms. We're gonna draw our sleeves first. So we'll draw a diagonal line out and then back in. And the same thing on the other side. Then for our arms, we're gonna draw a J that comes down and then curves back in. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, now it kind of looks like her except we need to add all of the extra details, especially on her dress. So right here at her neck, let's draw a V. And then she, her dress is made out of all these little patches. So let's draw one diagonal line coming down the side. Then we can connect her neck down to that patch. Then let's draw another diagonal line over here. And then we can also connect with a diagonal line going the other direction. Cool, okay, now she has stitches on her arms. So let's draw two lines. And if we can, add little stitches like we did on her mouth. I'm gonna add one little stitch on each, on each little cut. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here on her other arm. Now, also with her patches, we can add little stitches holding her dress together. Then down here, let's add her shoes and two more lines for her socks on each leg. So three lines across her legs. Okay, we're almost done, except we need to add her really long hair or else it doesn't really look like Sally. So we're gonna draw a line that comes down on each side of her head and we're gonna go past her arms and then we're gonna add another zigzag line coming in to her dress on each side. There, we did it. We finished drawing Sally. Now she's gonna look a lot better once we color her. This part I'm gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause it to match the same coloring.
finished coloring Sally and she turned out awesome. So I hope you're gonna do the same thing. Pause the video to match the same coloring. Now I use colored pencils, but you can use crayons or markers, whatever you have at home or in your classroom. Now also I wanna challenge you to mix colors to try and match what I did. I mixed blue and gray for her face and her skin tones, and I also mixed red and brown for her hair color. Now for her dress, I mixed gray with all of the colors. I colored it pink, yellow, and also green. And then I went back over it with the gray so that the colors weren't so bright. I hope you had a lot of fun drawing Sally with me and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.